Hi, I'm Josh Katz, and after having my identity exposed by my very young production team, Josh sucks. He's the worst. Josh sucks. I've decided I am not going down alone, which is why I've traveled all the way to the great state of Ohio to visit the Revive team and shed some light on the man. I don't really know what's going on. The mystery. I'm really good on my diet. The legend. What's up, guys? Andy Schrock. like a journalist investigating. Floors are pretty sticky over here. After extensive investigation into Andy's background, we discovered he grew up in rural Texas, the youngest of 18, where he excelled as a child rodeo star. When YouTube launched in 2006, he sniffed that opportunity and soon began skateboarding. He was able to transition his talent Never his style. Every time Andy rides at a skateboard, he looks like he's riding a horse. <laughs> it may seem like Andy's been teaching his son Ryden how to act and perform, but it's actually quite the opposite. We sat down with Ryden's agent for an interview. Yeah, it's just, it's hard for him to find time to do his dad's videos nowadays. Sometimes they get too busy. Uh, ever since he won the Kids' Choice Award, the job offers haven't stopped coming in. I try to help that out when I can't. Does Ryden have any cool projects coming up? Yeah, uh, Ryden and DiCaprio had this huge summer action blockbuster. Can't wait for it to come out. So Ryden, we hear you're hanging out with Leo lately. Can you make uh, it? Uh, Ryden, Jennifer Lawrence is on the line. So I gotta take this. What's up, babe? I went to the Revive Warehouse to do some investigating. and to get the lowdown on Andy from some of his closest friends. Has Andy ever tried to turn himself pro? He has been trying to get me to turn him pro forever. How often does he ask you about turning pro? Probably on a daily basis. Brian, I'm just gonna be blunt. We should turn me pro. That would, that just doesn't make sense to you? I don't know, call me back. We gotta talk about this. Like maybe like four years ago or something like that, but the dude's 32 years old. It's not gonna happen. We're not doing it. Hey, uh, you have not called me back at all. I kind of want to move this forward. So I started making some designs. I mean, I got sketches this morning with him, you know, some red shining board, you know, with freaking video game characters running around all over it. Why would I ever put his name on a board? Like, that's the dumbest idea ever. He's fat and he sucks. It's not gonna happen. Ryan! Come on, dude! I need this! Call me back! <laughs> have you gotten back at him in any way? He has put me through so much crap over the years that I have been trolling him so bad on pretty much every social media that he's ever touched it's, I'm, I'm actually super proud of it. Dude, it's, it's been magical. Uh, he has no idea it's been me the whole time, and it's, 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 it's magic. Do you have multiple accounts? I'm on new social media before he even gets there, because I know he's going to go to it. So I'm ready for him. Did you write, Andrew, rated PG Bam Margera Shrock should just quit skateboarding and go back to Olive Garden? Oh, yeah. What about not much speed or steez, but for 80 years old, not bad. Way to go, Fat Andy. How about this guy makes me wish I never started skating? No, that was not me. That guy, that guy's good. Brian says he only started the company to sponsor himself. Is that true? No, that's not true at all. He, just, he started the team because he didn't have any friends and he wanted some. He was tired of being lonely and he wanted more friends. So he's like, hey, I'll give you boards. For your friendship. Did he have like zero friends? I mean, he had like one. No, 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 it, yeah, it was, yeah, he had like zero. I got on Revive because Andy didn't have anyone to go to the movies with. We went and saw Paul Blart 2. It was terrible. I got on the team because he needed someone to go to Hawaii with, and it was pretty fun. But that's not the point. Andy just was lonely. Force Wheels was created because Andy had a child. Beautiful thing, but his wife became busy as mothers do, and uh, while she was taking care of Ryden, he might have felt a little neglected. So he kind of hired ten new friends, and uh, I'm I'm Andy's new friend. I mean, honestly, like it's my life's pretty cool whenever I'm around Andy because he just buys me whatever I want because he wants me to hang out with him. Anything I want, he bought my car right there. It's pretty sick. But no, I'm not friends with Andy. Talking about Andy? Yeah. I'm not talking about Andy. <laughs> I don't have a lot of time though, I gotta go get dinner with his wife. What do you mean with his wife? I mean, you know, she's not actually his wife. How is it being married to Andy? No, oh, being married to Andy is great. He's the best test subject that I've ever had. Test subjects? Yeah, I've been writing this medical thesis paper on him for four years now. 
I study all of his injuries. Because nobody falls as hard and as often as Andy Schrock does. You know what, I'm sick of all this behind the scenes work. We're gonna go rogue, and we're gonna get down to the bottom of this. Hey, face this way. I gotta see the sun on your face. Face this way. I gotta see the sun on your faces. This is Chip. This is Chip. So this is how he makes so many videos. He has other people going out skating for him, and then he just splices in old clips of him talking and skating. Ah, oh, one more try. Come on. He hasn't been out skating in years. <laughs> what the heck was that, dude? What the heck was that, dude? You're bored like freaking Star Trek daddy. You're bored like freaking Star Trek daddy that here. That didn't count. Get back over there. Let's go up the stairs. So I have this theory on the whole red shirt thing. We'll see if it's true. Oh my god. We got him. We got him. Andy Schrock is a fraud. Andy Schrock has been exposed. We did it. Dude, I, I, I promise no one will ever see this. This will, this will never get out. <laughs> no. You will never get out. What do you dislike about Andy Schrock? Uh, I hate his stupid haircut. Andy's facial hair is annoying. I, I can't stand it. It, it. It's not mature enough for his age, and I see kids graduating middle school with more facial hair than him. Like, he's a really hard guy to work with. Uh, his voice is awful. He doesn't stop. He does not slow down. It's vicious. He's just a really big idiot. How big of an idiot? The biggest. I just hate him. He's the worst. Like, Andy's a really cool guy. Don't get me wrong, and I like him, but I don't. Ha, ha, ha.